exciting exotic video coming up I forgot to add the touch of lemon juice at the end at the end of the video which I'm doing now is this uh, beginning of the video is actually the end so let's get cooking doesn't that look great welcome back to another truly amazing episode of Stephen Heap recipes so we've got a real treat today we've got essentially a chicken madras curry with some mushrooms and peppers and pineapple, some nice exotic fusion of flavours there and we're cooking it all from scratch. Heating the pan up and I've got about a kilo of chicken so quite a generous amount of oil just to cover the bottom of the pan. Let's heat that oil. So with that quantity of chicken we're going to want that quantity of onions. Yeah. Slice in half and then cut horizontally. And we just need to sweat those off. There's about six medium onions there. We'll come back in approximately eight minutes. And as always, we're sweating down onions. It's always good to add the salt now. It just helps the uh, onions shed their moisture and cook evenly. You can see through all that steam, the onions have been sweated down, they've been stirred almost constantly, and they've started to brown. Next I'm adding some skinned chicken legs that I've cut the, the ankle off, if you like, and chopped them in two. And we just want to give those a good stir and seal them. Get a little bit of colour on the edges. Those onions are still going to continue cooking. So as those chicken legs start to seal, continuously stir. Your onions are slowly going to reduce in size and you just want a good nice colour on your chicken before we add any other ingredients. So that's been about three minutes on a high temperature. Next we're going to add one, two heaped tablespoons, let's make it two and a half, of ginger and garlic. Turn the heat down slightly for this, you don't want to burn it. Ginger and garlic paste, then stir. So now we can add our powdered spices, so two heaped teaspoons of turmeric, one and a half heaped tablespoons or two shy tablespoons of Chennai Masala, Taste of India brand. Look at those ingredients, freshly ground to order. Going to add about half a teaspoon of cardamom powder. A little bit more salt. Salt to taste. Two tablespoons of Kashmiri chilli powder. And a handful, yes, a handful of kasuri mati. Give it a little bit of a squench up. Bring that back to the heat. Give it a good stir. Make sure all your spices are dissolved. We'll come back. So that's all good. Well stirred. So we've got some really highly aromatic coated chicken there. So spring water, half a pint. In stir. So what that water's done is just helped all the ingredients combine and nothing sticking to the bottom so it's really loosened everything up and the smell is great. Why I'm using still water is because spring water sorry because it's alive and I don't want to be using tap water. I like a nice universal natural water. There might be scientific reasons, but try it and you might notice a subtle difference. So next, I'm adding a whole carton, 300 and, I think it's 300 grams roughly, of mushrooms. And I'm going to give those a good stir too. And if it starts to dry out, add a little bit more water. So those mushrooms really absorb all the flavour. Just give it a good stir. The mushrooms will reduce in size in the cooking process. Now is the interesting part. I've got, I think it was six nice and red 
tomatoes and they're going to be sweated down cut them fine because you don't want like bits of skin all over you can peel them if you like but cut them up nice and fine the ripest reddest tomatoes you can find give those a good stir the pan's pretty overloaded but don't worry we've got some good heat next I'm just going to use some more spring water just to make that nice and liquidy so let's just reduce the heat we want it all to combine now and come back to a nice high temperature we want the tomatoes to almost disintegrate so once it starts to bubble we need to reduce this now make sure nothing sticks to the bottom and we're drastically going to reduce it lock in all those great flavors so as you can see <laughs> for all the steam that's reduced right down got a nice rich color we've still got a little bit of liquid but we've got some more things to add so I've got two red peppers and a green pepper chopped de-seeded that's going in now that will help to thicken the sauce up and give it some nice color give it a good stir we need to wilt that in for about two to three minutes so that's reduced somewhat even more now we've got the interesting part half a fresh pineapple cut it up into chunks and I'm sure you can see the potential of the dish if you want to change things you can but I think essentially you've got a pretty amazing authentic sauce there that you can adapt so let's just stir those pineapple chunks in and we'll come back shortly so again I'm adding a touch more water just to make sure those pineapples are nice and soft so it's about 200 millilitres of water give it a stir let it come to a nice sizzle once again and we're near to the end simmering away it's a great consistency we've got a nice shiny sauce a lot going on in there nice and complex i'm using pardon the splashes on the label but taste of india garam masala just look at those ingredients it's not cheating really these are the best spices they're all freshly ground and there's a good pinch or two of that going in i'm just going to give it a stir and that is ready and the smell is just incredible thank you very much for watching feel free to like share and subscribe if you've got to the end of the video and you can hear what i'm saying give this video a big thumbs up